This is Kia Niro Plus. I'm not really sure whether to call it 2022 or 2021 because it really reminds me of the first generation Kia Niro EV. Well, that is because it is based on one and Kia is actually calling it the first PBV model, purpose built vehicle. Here in Korea, Kia rolled out Kia Niro Plus as taxi or camping car. And as you can see, this is no cab. So this is actually a camping car. So today, let me just show you what Plus is all about. Kia says they really try hard to maximize the onboard space. Well, how do they do that? Well, actually they increased the uh, height by three inches and this plus is about overall 0.4 inches longer than before. So let me just show you the second row seats myself. Our 6.2 and this good amount of leg room and headroom is really, really nice. So it definitely is more spacious inside. They also give you this grab handlebar for Nero Plus. Window comes down. Not all the way. Single window for both first and second row passengers and really wish we had manual sunshade for the side. Two stage heated seats and Kia also gives you this reflector right here for safety reasons. And two air vents. I uh, really wish there was, once again, any charging port would be nice on the bottom. Good armrest with two cup holders and there isn't any sunroof on the top. And because this is camping car, it can fold the second row seats almost flat like this. And Kia also gives you this uh, extra board up here so you can lay down more comfortably. And Kia also sells Kia Nero Plus with many camping goods such as uh, air mattress. So really hope you guys also get camping goods when Kia introduces or launches Kia Nero Plus in your country. And Kia also gives you this uh, V2L connector so you can just straight plug in your household home appliances right here such as a hairdryer, laptop, coffee maker, whatever you need while you're camping. And there's also a large uh, storage area right here. You can put small items here and this is small one but they also give you an LED lamp over here. And one more unique thing about this camping model is that they give you this little table. You can stick in this side or this side. And also give you a leg. So it's quite sturdy. You can use it as your coffee table, laptop table, beer, poker table, anything you like. And it's a very nice design because when you're all done, you can just put them back and use it as trunk space and uh, look at the car from the rear it's pretty much the same new Kia logo revised tail lamp design that's turn signal and backup lamp it's actually located on the bottom now with the uh, new reflector design so guys do let me know what you think about it I'm not really a big fan of having backup lamp on the bottom uh, it says Nero plus new reflector so looks pretty much the same but yes it looks taller than before Unfortunately, there isn't any frunk for Nero Plus. A little bit disappointing. And the charging port is located right up here, supporting up to fast DC charging ports. And we have a new skid plate, revised low bumper design that's actually radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control. And now we have much thicker DRL. And for some reason, Kia have dropped fog lamp for Kia Nero Plus. That's also a little bit disappointing. They should just kept it. Okay, now let me just show you the LED headlamp system working in action. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, and this is what horn sounds like. Okay, guys? Just like the first generation Kia Nero EV, Nero Plus comes with 150 kilowatt electric motor turning the front wheels and with 64 kilowatt hour battery it actually returns a little bit less range compared to only 2023 Kia Niro EV but slightly better than last generation first generation Kia Niro EV so now let me just show you how fast this Niro plus can be okay let's take the ESC off two stage put the car into sports mode and go 
Ooh, pulls nicely. Little bit of slippage. And it took Nero plus 6.9 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour. Actually faster than our time with the uh, 2019 Kia Nero EV. Maybe because it was winter time for the 2019 Kia Nero. But it actually feels very responsive and quick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Looking at the car from the side, everything looks pretty much the same below this line, but everything above looks a little bit out of proportion because like I told you, Kia Nero Plus is about three inches taller than before for your headroom. And our tester is wearing 17 inch rims. It's wearing 215, 55 by 17 on front and back. And now let's do check out the braking performance with taller Kia Nero EV. It stopped quite nicely for a tall Kia Niro EV. Actually better than our time with the 2019 Kia Niro EV. Probably because it was winter time for the 2019 year model. Uh, weight difference, Niro Plus actually weights only about 11 pounds heavier compared to a regular first generation Kia Niro EV. So not so much. Looking at the car from the driver's seat, if you get the taxi model, you get taxi meter up here and walking device and C-type charging port right over there. But this is camping car, so it looks pretty much the same. We still have seven inch screen in the middle, but for the Kia Nero Plus, we get new tenant court infotainment screen. Uh, so it looks much larger than before. It's got good graphics too. We have a new Kia logo, but otherwise we have very similar looking steering wheel designs, same looking air vents, climate media control. We also have heat pump here and also drive only buttons, which will shut off every AC or heater except for the driver's seat so you can not stay more efficient. Uh, not wireless charging pad, but just a storage area here. Um, some charging ports, good storage area. Dial type gear selector, three stage heated and ventilation seats, auto hold and heated steering wheel and drive mode selector and electric parking. You hear that? Okay, we also have uh, two cup holders, large storage area down here and also under my armrest and one fast USB charging port and also good cubby space over here. Okay, now let's go out and drive this Kia Nero plus so as all electric vehicles do it's very quiet and smooth what about visibility well visibility i think is better than regular kia nero ev because remember we have a better headroom uh, we have large windows all around we do not have any blind spots monitoring system but we do have alert system which will help you during your lane changes so yeah it's quite pleasant place to be it's, it just feels more spacious and comfortable overall okay now let me just put the car into sports mode and do talk about 150 kilowatt electric motor Pulling the front wheels. Okay, um, this guy definitely feels taller and it is about 11 pounds heavier compared to a regular Kia Nero EV. So it still feels quite quick and you can definitely enjoy instant tour happening instantly. But yeah, when you really start to drive quickly, uh, higher center of gravity makes the car feel a little bit less secure. So I guess you gain some and lose some. But it's quite responsive for a tall Kia Niro EV. Niro Plus also comes with paddle shifters up here. 
not to change gears but actually to change the intensity of the regen brake you can go from zero one two three or auto but my favorite is actually once which the regen brakes happens very smoothly and mildly hey little corner coming here wow <laughs> Okay, we'll show you the corner very soon, but I think it handles pretty nice for a tall Nero EV. Nero Plus actually comes with single windows for both front and rear passengers, but they're rather thick and because we have battery on the bottom, seems to be isolated quite nicely. Yeah, pretty good for the class. Yeah, definitely the bottom is nicely isolated, but I hear a little bit noise coming from the A, a pillar, a little bit more. But I think it's quite nicely isolated for the class and for the speed we're driving. Better slow down. <laughs> okay, let's do check out the handling capability. Yes, definitely this guy feels taller but it's actually handling very nicely with battery on the bottom yes no all-wheel drive system so it will understeer mainly but it's quite easy to change or correct and it handles very nicely for kia nero plus yeah Kia Nero Plus comes with not HDA2 but just HDA but it's adaptive cruise control and lane keepers is it's very delicate one it will place the car right on the center and it's very smooth one the adaptive cruise control so even in city congested city traffic like this no problem it will come to full stop if the lead car does and also it will automatically follow the car so it's a very delicate one yeah so i mean no hca too so it will not change the lanes for you but i think this is more than good enough very comfortable you see just keep your hands on the steering wheel and kia nero plus will do everything for you almost i think if you're a cab driver you can really appreciate this function very nice All right guys, this has been a Kia Nero Plus review. Hope you guys enjoyed it and really hope Kia will bring more PBV models, purpose-built vehicles. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys and see you soon.